Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks back with another After Effects tutorial for Boris FX. And this time we're going to take a look at another example of how you can use BCC Continuum Complete 8 three-way color grade with Film Glow and we're going to combine it with BCC Match Grain to enhance this shot. And this is a pretty nice shot of a sunset. So we have some seagulls down the bottom here. Some lovely reflections. But it can definitely do with some work. So the first thing we're going to do is add some grain to it to give it a more filmic look. I have the layer selected, so I'm going to go to the Effect menu and choose BCC 8 Film Style, BCC Match Grain. Now the Match Grain filter can be used to either sample existing grain from one clip and add that to another clip, or you can use the factory installed Kodak Grain signature files. And that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'll come up to Grain Presets and click on this L box here. That's the Load box. And in the BCC Match Grain folder, I'm going to choose 5277. And that's from the Boris Grain System BGS. That gives me a much finer grain. Now you can view the grain just by itself without the distracting footage by going to the view menu and choosing generated grain. Gives you a much better idea of how the grain is actually looking. I'm going to choose RGB instead of monochrome and I'm going to change the size from 100 to 200. And now look at the final output. And now our shot has a really nice, natural, filmic grain look. Okay, next we're going to apply the glow. So once again from the effect menu, I'm going to choose BCC8 Film Style, BCC Film Glow. And the first thing to do is to increase the threshold to 30. And for the matte layer, I'm going to choose the layer itself. And using the base clip as the matte holds back the glow in the darker areas, which gives us more depth. For the glow color, I'm going to click on the ink dropper and I'm going to just sample this peach just in the edges of the clouds. You can see that's really giving that a nice warm glow. That's pretty much good to go. Okay, so next we're going to use BCC three way color grade to increase the contrast in the midtones. We're also going to warm up the midtones a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit of blue to the shadows and the highlights and we're going to up the saturation. So once again from the effect menu I'm going to choose BCC 8 color and tone, BCC 3-way color grade. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is choose a preset. I can do that by clicking on current at the top here and choosing warmer mids. Now watch what happens to the midtones in the shot when I choose this. Much warmer. And you can see here, the gamma sphere has the crosshair moved slightly towards the red. And that's why we're getting that extra red in the midtones. So by all means, come down to the spheres here and adjust them yourselves. But take a look at the presets because they can be a good starting point. Okay, next just come down to the lift. And the lift color sphere controls the chroma in the shadows. And we want to add a slight blue tint to the shadows. So we can just click towards the blue part of the sphere just a little bit and watch what happens to the shadows. You can see we're getting that nice blue tint in the shadows now. And we'll also add a little bit to the gain, which is the chroma in the highlights. And that'll give us a slightly bluish tint to the highlights. So let's just come over to the gain and just a little bit of blue in the highlights. Very nice. Exposure, I'm going to increase just slightly. 0.2. Don't want to go too high because then you'll start losing the detail in the clouds here. And I'm just going to increase the saturation by about 10. That makes that much more saturated. And that's it. In just a few steps, we've taken a really dull looking sunrise scene and we've generated a nice warm soft sunrise complete with some photorealistic film grain. For now, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.